If you're watching this video, then you're likely considering renting a house in the Cape Hatters Outer Banks area. There are some definite pros and cons in doing so, and I'm here to help make sure you don't make an expensive mistake. There are lots of things to see and do in the Outer Banks, and I'm going to show you it all. And regardless of what you do, you're going to need a base of operation, and I'm going to show you what you need to look for to make sure, again, you don't make a mistake. If you are new to the Outer Banks and you're not sure exactly what to do, the best way you can find out the most fun and exciting ways to spend your time is by checking out my channel. All of the experiences that you will see in this video are highlighted in detail on my channel. There are lots of things you can do to ensure that your vacation goes well. However, there is going to be absolutely nothing more important than picking the right house. Picking the right house is the single most important thing you can do to ensure that you have a great vacation. Many of these houses don't just host one family, they host multiple families. And all of these people have varying degrees of expectation. For some, it's going to be all about the view. Others, it's gonna be access to the beach. Then even for still others, it's gonna be the amenities that the house has to offer. What we have to note here is that picking the right house is not, and I say again, not an individual decision. You have to talk to all the players that are involved and all the parties have to decide what's gonna be the right house for them. It really doesn't matter what they say because ultimately it comes down to one thing and that is location, location, location. In many cases, families travel hundreds of miles in order to do one thing and that's to be close to the beach. The last thing you want to do is have an exhausting process or it takes a long time to get to the beach. That would be a failure. Outer Banks area is massive. It is not a one size fits all. So that means where your house is located could be very different than where another house is located as it relates to beach access. You want to find out if your house has adequate beach access, there are two ways you can do so. Number one, read the description. Usually the person who's renting you the house will let you know if it has beach access and usually will highlight that right in the very front of the description. Also, read the reviews. If you see a bunch of reviews from people saying they are struggling to find a way to easily access the beach, then beware. Here is the answer to the million dollar question. Is it worth paying thousands of extra dollars to, for a house that's close to the beach versus one that's say a little bit further away? And the answer oftentimes, in my opinion, is yes. You want to go on vacation for the convenience of it all. You don't want to have to pull or lug things all the way through sand and you know, walking through sand is extremely difficult and challenging. So renting a house that's close to the beach that has a short walk, if any walk at all, to get to the ocean, in my opinion, is absolutely worth it. With that being said, keep in mind that two identical houses, one on the beach and the other across the street, could be a difference in price of hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Houses in the Outer Banks rent for tens of thousands of dollars in the summertime. What does that mean? That means that it's gonna be back to back to back to back. So maybe one day to clean the house and then the very next week the house is rented. So what that usually means is that expect problems. Folks are gonna go into the house and they're going to lose the remote. They're going to break dishes and stuff like that. If you come into a house, make sure you do your inspection. If the house says there are you know, 13 plates, make sure there are 13 plates. Don't wait till the middle or the end of the week to start to report problems. Here is another tip to avoid problems later on. When you enter the house, take photographs and video. Videotape the entire house before you occupy it. This shows what's exactly in the house. That way the owner cannot come back and say, this is missing or this was there when you got there. Because the photographs you take on your phone have a date and timestamps and it helps document the condition of the house when you received it. 
Going on vacation without a plan is a plan to fail. Let your family and friends know what your expectations are going into vacation. If you plan to be on the beach all day, they should know that before they get there. 